Remember years ago when it was a custom to bring the deceased one into the home for a couple of days before the burial? Remember this? And all the friends and neighbors and all the kin people, they would come over there, they'd bring food with them. Damn. <laughs> when I was growing up, me and my little brother used to hope somebody would die <laughs> so we could eat. <laughs> I smell chicken. Somebody must be dead. <laughs> And you remember this? We always, we always put the casket by the living room window. It had to be by the window. Just like this guy was a friggin' Christmas tree. <laughs> they don't move that couch, roll rubber right over there, you know. And I remember this like it was yesterday. Everybody, everybody that come in would spend one minute at the casket and three days in the kitchen. <laughs> and they would talk about the food and who brought what. And it would go just like this. Somebody would go up. Uh, well, I see Elizabeth brought that damn macaroni salad. <laughs> I knew she'd do this. If it had been somebody on her side of the family, she'd have brought some kind of meat. <laughs> well, wait a minute, let me tell you one number. Listen to this. A year ago, a year ago, when her sister's husband died, hell, she baked a ham. <laughs> Well, she says she baked it, but it had those pineapple rings and those cherries stuck on it with a toothpick. I said, that looks like a damn Kroger ham to me. <laughs> but I didn't want to start nothing. <laughs> and then, listen, and a few months later, just a few months later, her nephew, her 19-year-old nephew died. Nobody knows why. He just died. I think it was the stab wounds. <laughs> Well, when he died, she shows up with nine pounds of that boar's head roast beef. And that's cheap. Now, let me show you the difference. When my first cousin died, now see, we're talking about my side of the family, and don't let this go no further. You know, he's the one that got killed with a hay baler. Yeah, out baling hay. Thank goodness he was working near the road there. And somebody just driving by happened to notice that this hay baler was running amok <laughs> with nobody on it. <laughs> At first, they thought he had just gone to lunch. <laughs> then somebody with a brain said, no. He wouldn't jump off a moving hay baler <laughs> to go to the huddle house. Be... Well, to, 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 to make a long story short, here's what happened. He had been up all night the night before watching that Nick at night. They had this Mary Tyler Moore marathon. He, he watched every damn show. So he goes to work the next day without any sleep at all. And he's working on the hay baler dozed off and just fell off the hay baler and it just bailed him up <laughs> trouble was there must have been a thousand bells of hay laying out there and they didn't know which one he was in <laughs> I swear it was just like hunting Easter eggs <laughs> thank goodness though he was wearing his Braves cap and it was like sticking through the hay and somebody said, here he is, here he is. <laughs> and we gave them a chocolate rabbit. 